In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a custom 2D drawing template in Autodesk Inventor. So right now we are on the home screen and what we will do is we will select new just up here. And then we have our templates here for parts, assemblies and drawings. Now we want to select one of the drawing templates and what we will do is we will modify that and then we will save it as our own custom template. So I recommend selecting a .dwg file, whether that's ISO or ANSI or BSI, whatever is on your screen, that's absolutely fine. The benefits of .dwg is that these files are cross compatible with Fusion 360 and AutoCAD. So let's go ahead and select that and go to create. And here we can see this template. Uh, in this case, it's an ISO template. It has two components. One is the border, which sits around the perimeter and has the zones, both vertical and horizontal. And the second part is the title block down here. So we're going to focus on the title block. What we can do is go to the plus and we can go to model browser. And then here we can see we have our sheet and these two components here. So the border and this is the title block. We can edit this sheet by right clicking and selecting edit sheet. And here we can rename it, we can choose uh, a size, I typically work in A3 or A4. And we can also choose an orientation, so whether it's a portrait or a landscape sheet, we can also define where the title block will sit in relation to the sheet. I typically go with the bottom right corner, I'm going to click OK. We can delete either of these components by right clicking on them and selecting delete. So here the board has been deleted, and now I will delete the title block like so. And in the folder above, we have the drawing resources. So in here, we have two key folders. Number one is the borders, and number two is the title blocks. We can re-enter a border or a title block by right-clicking and then selecting Insert. So on the drawing border here, I can define the number of zones. Let's go for eight horizontals, which will be numeric. And for the verticals, let's go for six and leave these as alphabetical. And here we can see the eight zones on the horizontal and the six zones on the vertical. The title blocks, there's only one available, which is this one. And if we insert, this is fairly bland. Um, I don't particularly like this one. So I'm going to delete that. And instead, I'm going to right click on the folder itself. I'm going to select define new title block. So this is where we will uh, design our own title block. So to do this, we use the standard sketching tools and we'll draw in the title block and add the appropriate text. So in this tutorial, I will be redrawing my title block that I use in my lesson plans. Feel free to copy this and you can add uh, or change it uh, appropriately. So I will go ahead now and draw the frame for my title block. I will speed the video up for this. So that is the complete frame for our title block. I'll now go and input the appropriate text boxes for this. So to do this, we'll select text up here, and then we'll just click once roughly where we want that text to go. And so in this case, I'll input title, I'll put that in capitals, and here we can change uh, the, the font. So here I'm gonna go for uh, size 2.5 and click OK. And then I'll just dimension that uh, based on its anchor point, which is here. I'll just go ahead and input all the remaining text boxes. So I'll speed up the video again. And there we have our text boxes in place. I'm now going to go ahead and input a logo. So to do this, I'll go to insert and then image and I'll select my logo. That's looking good. Now let's just check what this looks like. So let's go up to finish sketch and we'll save this title block as, uh, let's just say example block. And I'll click save. And now if we zoom out, double click the middle mouse button. If we go over to our drawing resources folder, we can see that under the title blocks, we have our new example block. So if we want to insert this, let's right click and select insert and inventor will automatically position it uh, in the correct place, which is in the bottom right hand corner in this in this case. That's looking good. Just a few more things to add, such as the projection mode. So for me, this will be third angle projection. And then the units, again, in my case, I work in millimeters. So I will go ahead and input them now using the sketch tools.
Okay, that is looking good. Before we do any more work on this, let's save it as a template. So let's go to File and hover the mouse over Save As, and then we'll select Save Copy as Template. We'll select that. And now Inventor will open up the location for our templates. So let's call this uh, Example uh, 2D uh, Template. And let's click Save. And now if we go back to our home screen, so I'm gonna select the home icon down here, and then we'll go to New again. We can see here we have our example 2D template ready to go. And we'll select Create. And here, this is our template. And next, we need to add the smart text to identify the properties that are currently missing. So to do this, let's go over to our Drawing Resources folder, and we can go under Title Blocks, under our Example Title Block. We can right-click and select Edit. And here, let's put in the smart text for the title. So we'll select Text, we'll click roughly where we want that to go. And to enter smart text, we use these three boxes here. So we identify the type, the source, and the property, and then we click Add. So for the title, this would come under the standard eye properties in relation to the primary or the attached model. The property here would, of course, be the title. If we scroll down, we can see that there. We'll click Add, just change the size to three. And as you can see here, we have title, which is in parentheses, which indicates that this is smart text. Let me finish the sketch there and press yes. And you'll see this is empty, and that is because we do not have a model. Let's put in a basic model. So I'll put in uh, this steel plate. Press OK. I'll just tidy that up. And if we look now at our title block, we can see that the smart text has recognized uh, this part as being stainless steel plate. So if we go into that part, we then go to File and I Properties. We we'll go to the summary. You can see the title is Stainless Steel Plate. Let me change that. I'll put with, uh, say, Jacking Hole. Press OK. And just click Save. There we go. Back onto the drawing, and we can see the smart text has picked that up. That's excellent. Let's do the same for material. So again, we'll right click on the title block and edit. Enter in the text. So for material, again, standard eye properties of uh, the attached model, and we'll select material, add, just change the size, click finish, yes, and we can see here it's identified the part is mild steel. Let's say that we want to change that. So let's go to our material, and we'll go to, let's say, a stainless steel, save. And if we scroll down, we can see, yeah, the smart text has picked that up. That's great. Now let's do the drawn by and approved by. So again, we'll right click and select edit. Add in text, let's do the drawn by first. So this would come under the standard properties of the current drawing. So this is the engineer or the designer rather, who is creating this drawing. So add that person in and enter three. And we'll do the same for the approved by. So again, it would be under the current model and the property here would be the engineer approved by. Add that in, change that to three, press OK. We'll finish the sketch there, click yes. And we can see it's drawn by, that's me, that's Chris, and approved by, that's Dylan. If we want to change these, we can go to File, I Properties, and under Project, we can identify the designer here. So let's change that, let's just write my, my short name. So that's Chris. Um, and then for status under the uh, engineering approved by, we can just put Dylan, it's OK. And so, yeah, we can see uh, that the smart text has picked up these changes. Under scale, we can do that by right clicking and going edit and adding in text here. The scale would be in relation to the sheet properties. Again, the current drawing would be the initial view scale. So we'll add that in. Finish sketch there, press yes, and we can see that the drawing, uh, sorry, the model being displayed now is a scale of one to one. Let's change that to, let's say, one to two. If we go down now, the smart text has again picked that up. And last but not least, we have the sheet. So we'll right click on our title block, and edit, add in the text here. And so for sheet, I will do the sheet number over the total number of sheets. So I'll show you how to do that. That's of course in relation to the sheet properties under the current drawing. This would be the sheet number. Add that in. We'll then add a space and a forward slash. 
and then we'll go to the drawing properties and add in the total number of sheets. Just change that to size three and press OK. Roughly position that. Let's finish sketch. Press yes. We can see here that this is sheet number one of two. And if we go over to our um, model browser here, we can see there are two sheets and we're currently on sheet one. And so that is how to add the smart text to the properties that are shown here. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments section and I'll reply as soon as I can. But aside from that, I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.